Yeah, um, maybe. Yeah, so this is going to be our final match today. For, oh, boy. Yeah. So we're going to have Kokoma on, still unsigned. So yeah. He's been shouting this guy's name out for the longest. Why is this guy <laughs> unsigned? I think he just likes being unsigned. The guy's sponsored by his chat, man. He's got a stream, isn't it? Streams. Versus Xenix Dimeback. He's been playing so on point today. Yeah. Mr. Forward 2. He's uh, definitely, man. This guy's been playing super, super solid. Uh, his reactions have been better than I've ever seen. His movement, you know, when he played against um, when he played against Gunny, he was sidestep left versus the down back one all the time. It's into the Tooth Fairy, it was very, very good. So he's now finding his footing here, I think, dying back. Uh, but he's going up against a beast here, Kokoma, someone who's sitting pretty in that top five. Dying back, however, is not. Yeah, he yeah. needs points. Definitely needs points and making a win now. And I think this is for top eight would make such a big statement in that he's gunning for these points. Absolutely, yeah. So I wonder who Kokoma's going to use. Huh. Who is Kokoma going to use here? Just setting our buttons now. But well, like I said, guys, thank you guys for tuning in. This is the TWT from Lyon, the mix-up. Yeah, the final ever, the final ever major for season one and also the last master event here in the European region. Of course, yeah. there are still some master events left uh, in Singapore uh, and in Colombia, South, yeah, Colombia yeah. South America. But this is the final one here mm. for Europe. So everyone here who is still in the tournament for Europe wants and needs these points. I, th I, I was just thinking about that Colombian man. I think that's going to be hype. It's gonna be I, I have a sixth sense about that I one. love the South Americans. The South yep. Shout out to all the South Americans because you guys are crazy. Mm -hmm. Very, very strong players. You've got Abel the Maestro. You have Crespo. You have uh, so many, so many. I can't even name them. So yeah, I'm going to be players. looking forward to actually watching that event. <coughs> like you said, I do like watching the South Americans play. Yep, absolutely. But right now though, we are not in South America. We are here in France for Kokoma versus Dimeback. Final game of today. And he has gone with geese as well. Geese. The geese. The goose. The goose is loose. The goose is indeed loose. This and is the first geese I've seen today. Mm, I've seen a geese. Uh, we saw, I saw off stream oh, from off. Paris uh, play versus Asim with geese. Oh, I didn't see that at all. Didn't quite work out for him. But either way, let's get into it here. We're in Russia. Did he stay with geese for the two games? Nah, Steve and geese. Yeah. Steve and geese, all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, it's funny because... Kokoma's geese actually got him the win versus JDCR, but before that, it hadn't done so much work for him. Yeah, maybe it's just the unfamiliarity with geese being like one of the, uh, one of the newer characters, yeah. probably one of the strongest ones in the DLC. For sure. Yeah. We know that uh, uh, Dimeback loves to use his sidestep twos and his parries, and back three two with the geese is the complete counter to that. Yeah. And he's got the bar now, so he needs to be very careful because you know that Max Mode is getting activated. Oh, just like you said. Just as I said, Max Mode activated. That is sick. So first round for Kokoma. Man, uh, Geese Howard is so cool. Even though I don't know how to play him. Uh, he is pretty cool, <laughs> yeah. Definitely got some really, really strong tools. Goes for that big low. There you go. Soccer kick. No, not soccer kick. Football kick, mate. Football. It's a football kick. <laughs> Get out of here with your hand, Eggman. Can cans. Ooh, catch him slipping with the kill yeah, right. And, and that's a move that's actually recently been nerfed for season two. They've they've um, increased the recovery, right? Yeah. So now you it's a lot easier to whiff punish because in this in, in season one it's very hard. It is, it is a great it's a great launcher. Yeah. <laughs> oh Ooh, god. Oh and that is so he doesn't want to do that because the knee is gonna go through the parry. Yeah, but I think he tried to beat the string. Uh. Need to be very careful, like I said, knee into max mode will equal dead. Yeah. D E D. D E D. Forget the A. There we, <laughs> there we go. Back to Back to you. Like I said, that knee equals D E D. There we go. So dead. second round now for Kokoma. That back three two is proving to be a bit of an issue here for Dime Back. Of course, this has really good traffic to both sides. If she tries to sidestep two, if she tries to do a parry, it's gonna get hit. Okay. While Sandy Free catches them um, geese out the air. Oh, big count hit. He's going to get the pick up here. Yep. Full combo. And this is what it is about Asuka, man. Asuka is a very defensive character. No punish there on the Tooth Fairy, though. Yeah, I, I, wouldn't even, I wasn't expecting that as well. <laughs> like, full screen dash up 4 2. Messed up the crash cancel down back 4. Oh my god. Good there combat. we go. Is this the start of a comeback? Uh uh. uh. Got two, two bars. bars now. Yep. Okay. Nice throw break. Yep. Oh my god. Right out them Rimpukens. 
Yeah, no need for Dime to overextend here. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Stand up. Uh, um, I said it's Max Mode coming. Oh my god, the comeback from Kokoma! Do they even need to use the bar? Damn. Wow. Dying back showing too much respect. And this is what happens when you are so close to winning. When you have a massive life lead, you tend to play a bit more patient because you know you don't want to overextend. You know, also, I think this is one of those things. You don't really see it as much as in this game. It's like a meter thing. Once you see he has the meter, yeah. you're scared of back three too. Even though he hasn't like, done it, you know that he's got the potential to do it and cancel into it. So it's, it's really scary. <laughs> exactly. Oh my god, what a comeback there yeah. from Kokoma. The geese working out for him right now, but Dimeback not out of it yet. Still showing that he has the wish punishment on lock. Yes. He's looking better than I've ever seen him play before. So this is such an important match here. I believe this might even be for top eight, right? I'm gonna say yes. Yeah, so all to play for. And Dimeback, like I said, needs these points. He is not currently qualified for the finals. We definitely want to be at them finals in Amsterdam. I remember, I've already made the commitment Steve made me promise on stream. <laughs> so. And what better way to do it with, with, than with a back three? Mm, four piece. Okay, yeah, try to catch him doing the second hit. Yeah. Gets the punish. One, one, two, good stuff. Okay, he's trying to chop down. Using that space. Nice, counter hit confirmed there. I do love a good counter hit confirm. Yeah, good punish on the forward one. Doesn't oh. get a clean wall splat. Uh-oh. This clean scores ma major trouble. No. Oh, that's a great dive. Oh. Again. The counter hit confirmed again into the mix-up. Kokoma clutching it out time and time again. Time back just like rolled back into his seat there. It's like another time where he had the life lead and Kokoma it, just it made It really that. sucks the energy out of you yeah. when you are... Oh, this is going to hurt. Oh. Uh, into the throw. No, oh, it messes up. a combo. It really sucks the energy out of you, like I was saying, when you're so close to winning, but time and time again, just getting clutched out. Yeah, close, but no cigars, you say. Yeah. Okay, puts himself against the wall. I don't really like that. We saw that's how we lost the last round. Yeah, good punish, though. One push two throw whiffs. Back three. Ooh, tried to get punished from there. This time, Kokoma with a life lead. Oh, my God. This catches him, duck him. to the mid, and Kokoma looking pretty now, sitting on set point. Yeah, set point here, Kokoma. Looking very confident. Look at the movement right now, man. He's so confident. He's, he's a confident goose. <laughs> he's a confident one. If there's anything left in the tank, dime back. Now is the time to bring it out. Such an important match. Nice duck. <laughs> okay, there's a duck there. So he has knowledge of the matchup. Yep. Something that I don't have. <laughs> okay, that, can we get a punish? No, that's, okay. just, that's actually safe. Oh, is it? Yeah. Okay, nice. I never knew that. Uh -huh. Oh gosh, he's got two bars now. Is this gonna? I think he's gonna. Oh, what nice. a confirm, man! This is gonna go towards the wall. Yep. Oh, is this that dead? Gonna, yeah, I think it's gonna be it. Look at the damage. One more mix up and, and goes for the mid. That is it. Kokoma looking really strong with the geese. Howard pick. Yeah, absolutely. It was the perfect pick against Dimebag. Dimebag, of course, 